Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'll be showing y'all my first time using the increasingly popular Rev Air or Reverse Air Dryer. As you guys know, I love to wear my hair in stretch styles because I find this is the best way for me to preserve my ends. So I've been using the Revlon One Step Paddle Dryer for a few years now, but I can't lie, the excessive manipulation from the brush is not ideal for my hair, and I can definitely see a difference in the health and density of my hair since I've been using it. So I want to move back towards methods of blow drying my hair that use predominantly tension and less combing and brushing and less manipulation overall. So I know this has a pretty hefty price tag, but luckily I did not buy it. Um, I borrowed it from my sister-in-law just to test it out. Um, there are three different areas that you sort of have to turn on. So this is the top and this is the toggle on and off button um, for the dryer. And then there is this handheld part. Um, and on that part, you have the heat settings. Um, so you have kind of that cool heat setting and there's medium heat and then the higher heat setting three different settings there and then here we have the um, level of suction setting so it goes from zero to seven so i use the highest heat setting and the highest suction setting all the way at seven when i did it and i figured that out just by sort of playing with the device to figure out what worked best for me so i'm starting out with hair that has been freshly washed and allowed to air dry until it's just slightly damp i did wash my hair in these 12 braids or so and the beauty of washing your hair in braids is that you sort of have these preformed sections for when you go in to blow dry. I'll go ahead and apply my leave-in conditioner to each section in turn. And then I detangle each of the sections independently. So this is the outcome with the, um, not the super high suction setting. You can see it's still fairly poofy. And so I then went back in using a higher suction setting all the way up to the seven. And these are the results with that higher suction setting. So you can see quite a bit more stretched and I was much happier with this result. For each section, I followed up the blow dry with a light coating of coconut oil. I find that this helps to keep out the humidity and really assists me in making sure that my hair stays stretched after the blow dry. For larger sections like this, I did further subdivide them into smaller sections to blow dry, but I actually soon figured out that I didn't need to do that. So you'll see me do a lot larger sections uh, towards the end of the video, and I still was able to get a pretty good stretch from that. One thing I did notice with this blow dryer is that um, it's not as good as the paddle blow dry brush as getting your hair very kind of sleek and smooth. I definitely have a very stretched look, but I know that if I had used the blow dry brush, my hair would be a lot easier to comb through. Um, so in just combing through it, I still had some snags and that sort of thing. So it's really good for getting your hair stretched, but it's not as um, like, it's not as easy of a comb through as if you had used the paddle brush. As I completed larger sections of my hair, I went ahead and put it into a braid just to sort of keep it out of the way.
guys this was a great experience while there was a bit of a learning curve um, you know this device took some getting used to to figure out how to use it i was absolutely impressed with the results and its ability to stretch my hair so definitely something i'm going to add to my hair care routine and um, i'll have to purchase one and give my sister-in-law back hers but i think definitely a great implementation of the tension method as always thank you guys so much for watching